things here that pre the railroads were just starting to come into Kansas and Nebraska. We might, if we have time, go through and look at some of the problems of converting that recipe to what would be required now this afternoon. Water, brown sugar, and so on. Bring it to a boil and eventually reduce it to, to uh, about half the volume. Package it. Notice what she was saying packaging in crockery containers, scalded crockery containers. Actually, doing some things right there. I'm sure she didn't understand why. Cover with scalded lid, place it in the spring house, the refrigerator bit. Well, put this in the lab, pH. I don't know what you're planning to do. Oh, I just forgot Oh, you don't need to do that. Did you work with Dr. Mark? Yeah. I have no idea what I'm doing. I did my master's and PhD from there. I don't know if you know Dan Spong. He's the microbiologist. <laughs> We're documenting everybody who's here. <laughs> 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 It's all vacuum sealed. Okay. So they or they doing steam jets. Steam jets. Or steam jets. 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 Steam and then I'm going to send you to all the other need, workshops you have to take. You need to do it the opposite direction. <laughs> put us in the right. kitchen and then put us in the lab. Put a super heater on it. What you're doing is you're heating that steam up. Right, your hands are going to be famous. You have to correct this, 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 and so on. It's, it's fun to get on there and spend a couple hours. You gain a good bit of insight just for looking at the building. <laughs> We are trying to stop the growth of those organisms. In some cases, we are trying to allow growth of specific organisms that we want to grow. Like in salami, fermented salami, we are trying to have specific types of bacteria growing there, like pediococci, lactic acid bacteria, lactobacillus, and like that. Okay? Um, and in some cases, we really want molds to grow in the food. Can you tell me an example of a food product where we intentionally want more to grow in there? Cheese. Yeah, cheese, camembert, rock pork. Those are specific cheeses where we want more to grow in there. It give us the uh, give us the flavor that we want. But in general, when we're talking about food spoilage and disease causing organisms, there are three classes of microorganisms that we'll talk about the molds, the yeast, and the bacteria. All three are important. Okay, those are the molds, that's how they look. Probably aspergillus, yeast, and bacteria. 
different types of bacteria. And uh, right now we have Dr. Lloyd Bullerman, who is the world's foremost expert on food my, um, uh, mycotoxins. And um, uh, he uh, has a workshop every year on football molds and mycotoxins produced and how to control and all those things, okay? So, so there are some useful functions of microorganisms that we talked about, like uh, fermented food products, production of using useful chemicals. We use microorganisms to produce some vitamins. So when we try to uh, uh, produce lactic acid from acids or vinegar, we use bacteria. And also, when you have a compost, you are using microorganisms to decompose the organic.